George Strombolopoulos. You should look up the EFF. I think you'd really like it. Welcome to the show. <laughs> you know when you go to a work Christmas party and 24 hours after it started, you don't feel right? <laughs> this is going to be a hell of a show. Uh, Kevin Smith is in the red chair today. It's so exciting to have one of the great young filmmakers. And he's still a young man making his stuff. How about good? Now, something we all know. This is kind of a giveaway. It is less than a week until we celebrate the birth of an historical giant, a, a light unto the world, if you will, and centuries after his death, his fame and influence only grows. You know the guy, right? Long hair, born December 25th. Of course, I'm talking about Sir Isaac Newton. Um, <laughs> can you imagine that? Like, Sir Isaac Newton shares a birthday with Jesus. <laughs> He's like, do you know what I figured out? Do you know how he was able to walk on water? I have the math behind it! <laughs> no one celebrates my birthday! I can tell you, it was ice! It was ice! <laughs> Happy birthday, Sir Isaac Newton. In a week, shall we deal with the day? Um, we, uh... Wait a second here, let me find it. Let's go E, F, I was worried. G is after F, right? E, F, this is a website that's taken up almost all my time today. Hello, George. Mike Duffy here. Okay, let's say my name was Gwendolyn. Hi, Gwendolyn. It's Mike Duffy speaking. Let's say my name was Justin. Justin, hi. It's Mike Duffy. What's your name, miss? What's your name? Emma. Emma? Emma, let's go. Let's see if, there's, let's see if Mike likes an Emma. Does Mike like an Emma? Oh, come on, Mike. You better like an Emma. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hi, Emma. It's Mike Duffy here. <laughs> this is... There's this website out there that's got a whole bunch of names on it, and you just click it, and it's just joy for the family all day. <laughs> Holiday cheer time! My Christmas wish is that hockey would get another lockout, but it would never come back ever again. <laughs> okay, you can't air that. I'm going to sound like such a bitch! <laughs> Holiday cheer! Holiday cheer! My Christmas wish is a million wishes. Yeah, that's right, I just bucked the system. I just played the game and did the old million wishes trick. And there's nothing you can do about it, Santa. Suck it, Saint Nick. Suck it. Suck it, I say. Ho, 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 this. My Christmas wish is that the earth open up and swallow the wicked. Wait a second, is that off message? In fact, that is not off message, right. I want to what? I want to talk about Rob Ford for just a second here because he is the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, his worship, <laughs> Toronto Mayor Rob Ford, was on that radio station in, uh, in Washington, D.C. Again, the sports junkies. It's 106.7, the fan. He was talking about football and stuff. If you haven't heard this today because you were busy living your life or shopping, uh, they asked him what he was going to get his wife for Christmas. Now, we know what it's like when the mayor talks about his old lady in public, right? <laughs> well, they asked him, and I say old lady because Rob Ford sort of acts like a biker. Um, <laughs> But bikers have more respect. Anyway, they asked him, and here's what Ford said. What do you get your wife for Christmas? <laughs> Just money. Women love money. <laughs> <laughs> He's batting. No, listen, give him credit. He's batting 1,000 on publicly maintaining his wife's dignity. <laughs> That's unbelievable. What do you get? Money. Women love money. He has carefully protected his I'm an every guy image, and just like you, he's going to throw a couple of thousand bucks to his wife. Is any, the average Canadian plans to spend about $640 on gifts a year in total, right? Now, if you're wondering where Rob Ford comes from, at the end of this interview, he saddled his dinosaur and rode back to bedrock. <laughs> he also, it's amazing. Christmas cheer, Christmas cheer. My Christmas wish is that they stop playing the little drummer boy. Forever. I hate that <laughs> song. All right. I'm a, I'm a big fan. So uh, you, you notice it a lot when we get to the holiday season because it, it, we start talking about all the people we've lost this year. And that's kind of a big story, right? And then, of course, you get to the Academy Awards, and they do that in-memoriam thing, and then they run in black and white all the pictures of all the people that died, and you don't know who 75% of them are. 
but you go, oh, and then they bring up the one person that died, and you go, oh. It's just this thing that we go through. And I understand why, right? Because, again, you have busy lives. But we decided, as we close out this year, not to honor those who've died, but how about honor those who are still going? Bob Barker, 90 years old. How about Stan Lee? That ought to make Kevin happy tonight. Chuck Yeager, right stuff. First pilot to break the sound bar, 90. 91 years old, Betty White. Christopher Lee. Patrick McNee. I know, I know, listen, if you guys are watching it, I know you are. We're, we're, we're clapping as if it's, just, it's an, like, oh my God, we're, celebrating. we're just happier. Abe Vigoda and the great Monty Hall, 92 years old. As it turns out, eternal life was behind door number two. John Glenn. How about 94? Judge Wapner. Al Molinaro from Happy Days. 97. Kirk Douglas is 97 years old. Do you realize it's possible that of all the actors who said, I'm Spartacus, the only one who's still alive is actually <laughs> Spartacus? <laughs> Unbelievable. By the way, Ida Harper. World's oldest yoga teacher living in Aurelia, Ontario, home of Stephen Leacock and Gordon Lightfoot, right on Ida. Also, super respect to these, as Rob Ford would say, super, 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 super centarians. <laughs> Special shout out to the oldest people on the list, okay? All from the Great White North. Merle Barwis, almost 113. Happy birthday the 23rd. Almost 113. <laughs> and Flora Thibodeau, 112. May you all live to be a 1,000 years old because you will have the best stories of all time. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. That should be great.